Welcome back to Front of the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today, it's not the uh, Hobby Box of Series 2 I was talking about the other day. We found some tins at Walmart, um, so we got some clearance tins. 2019-2020 Series 1. Uh, so I'm going to open a couple here today. Big ones you're looking for, Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes. Um, obviously, you can see Adam Fox back there. Um Kubalik's in here. A couple guys. Cody Glass is kind of a sleeper. Obviously, Cody Glass hasn't turned out to be what everybody wanted him to, and obviously, he's getting his fresh start over there. Um, he got traded to for the big. Did he go to Philly? I know he's big a part of that big trade. Uh, now I'm trying to remember who Cody Glass went to. Um, but see who it is. Like I said, I got a couple of these to open. I'm throwing packs all over the place already. So essentially in here, you're going to get, uh, same as everything else, usually you're getting a young gun in every four packs. Um, here's the odds for all that stuff once again. Boom. So yeah, young guns in, one in every four packs. Uh, you're getting nine packs in this plus a pack of Opeachy. Uh, so we're going to get that, the Opeachy out of the way because nobody cares about the Opeachy. Let's just put it that way. So this is uh, Alexander Texte. He's another good hit in this. Zadina and Dante Fabro. So there we go. Uh, background for the day. We got Quinn Hughes. I just had to go for him over to Jack. Just, you know, he got his contract recently, so may as well put Jack up. Uh, Adam Fox. I actually got that card for like a steal of a deal before he kind of took off. And then uh, Philip Myers. He's a local guy. So he's from where I'm from, which is Moncton, New Brunswick. So... Uh, it's nice to see him, you know, in the NHL. He's obviously, now he's playing for Nashville, but I decided to put him up there for the day. Uh, Cal Clutterbuck. So we just had a base pack for the first one. It's funny, even this product, which is only, you know, two years old, it's crazy just to see, like, where everybody's gone and the way things have changed and perspectives on players. Like, Cody Glass would have been a huge player in this back when it first came out, right? You know, first round pick, everything else. Uh, you know, now he's, you know, on to his second stop, see what he can get. Nick Benino, Thomas Hurdle, Cop Miami, Paul Stassi. You can, like, have this, like, those last four players, those last five cards, none of those players are on the same team anymore. <laughs> it's like, that's just how quick it can change in, in the NHL and, and where guys end up. Literally, yeah, like, the last five cards there, none of them are in the same place anymore. So, that's wild. Uh, here we go. Um, let's move this a little bit. Michael Kepney, David Perron, Chano Sorelli. First young gun. It's going to be a center for the Devils. Oh, starting off these tins. In the right way. I didn't need to put a Jack Hughes up as the uh, background for the day because we're going to hit him as our first young gun in this. Wow. Wow. Jack Hughes showing up already. So there's, like I said, that's essentially, I think he's still the biggest hit. Um, out of everybody, I think, out of all this. Quinn Hughes, I don't think. Like I said they got a lot of like good defensemen in this. Um, Kubelik's decent. Sorry, Quinn, you were up there for you were a front row center for a minute or two, but we'll throw Jack up. But uh, yeah, I think he's the only one of the only big like offensive guys uh, from Series One. So I really wish these tins were all Series Two, and then hopefully I could hit a Kale McCarr because I'd like to really hit one of those one day myself. Um, but. Not my luck, apparently. We got portraits. Svechnikov. He's starting off the season. Uh, starting off the season, right? Some big, uh, put up some points right away. I think he had two goals and an assist, or two goals and two assists in his first game. So, it's crazy. It's the NHL's back. Some guys, guys like Tyler Bertuzzi scoring four goals. Uh, and then you obviously still have Detroit losing, because well, that's what Detroit does now. Uh, Matt Barzell hit a crazy of him. If you want to go watch my SPA video from a couple days ago, uh, Matt, Matt, Matt Barzell had a crazy hit for him. Uh, Duncan Keith. I don't remember there being this many base packs. 
I'm not complaining because like the inserts are kind of weird, but like I don't need all the inserts. I guess they're just like a waste of space. At least, at least these I just put them in a box and give the base cards away to kids. But uh, Tyler Sagan, Ryan Strom, Drew Doughty. So we get a canvas of Claude Giroux. Oh, Claude's looking good. He's kind of one of those more underrated players. He's just always been, always been good, like forever. <laughs> it's kind of is weird that they they traded out uh, Voracek, his buddy, for Cam Atkinson. It was weird on both ends because like I just I don't understand that trade for either end. I, it's it's really weird. Cam Atkinson's like the heart and soul of that franchise. So uh, here we go. The D man for the Knights, Jimmy Schultz. Two pretty decent, uh, decent young guns. Throw me a sleeve real quick. But if that's hey, if these tens all want to be like that, I will not be complaining in the slightest. I'll take those all day long. Yes, Jack got a, took got a little bit more time, and I put him in an actual top loader. Jack Hughes, that's. Card's worth a decent amount of money. <laughs> There's no right sense of me not uh, not putting him in a top loader. I know people. some people don't like it. They're my cards. I'm going to do what I want. Uh, Josh Anderson. Once again, he's not on his team anymore. Dylan Strom. Sid the Kid. Petro. Matt Calvert. And Keith Yandel. Which I'm wearing. The Spit and Chicklets. Sonk shirt right there. That's for Keith himself, um, which he's always just something. Like now he's doing the whole, he's got the gold tooth mouth guard, the one gold tooth mouth guard. He's behind the net saying, you know, thank you to the goalie, which is just like, it's just funny. It's, it's just, he just does this, the small little things that make you laugh. Uh, Ehlers, the diving team himself, Tyler Bozak, Sam Reinhardt. So 10-1 is done. I'm not complaining. That's uh, Jack Hughes is going to be in the first 10. Uh, that's pretty good. So I got a couple of these. Uh, both my Walmarts uh, both had these. So like, they both had some clearance tins on. So some stuff I'll just keep for later episodes. Uh, I just wanted to open up a couple of them. That being said, I could open up all of them in the next like week or two on the channel. Just get ready for it. If I find product, it's nice to like open it and not have to like. So you just don't find stuff. You don't find old product all the time. Um, you know, like I said, to find that's why like even like you know some people might not like the the Walmart packs, and I can understand why. You right? those blisters of like repacks and stuff. Like some people might not like them, but like for me, I, I like them because it gives me older product that I get to open. I just I like that. I like seeing the old cards. I like seeing the guys on different teams. It's and it's just nice to open something other than what's currently out there, right? So we got here Texia again, Brandstrom, and Brandstrom. I think Brandstrom's in Series 2, though. I think him, it's him and Kale. Uh, who's it? Carter Hart's in Series 2. There's a bunch of guys in Series 2. I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Ryan Suter. Go through these a little faster. Troy Stretcher. Portraits of Connor McDavid. And so, go through the base a little bit quicker. Try not to make this a 20 minute video for three tens. That being said, it's probably going to be a 20 minute video. Sorry. Uh, here we go. Jeff Carter, first young gun. It is a center. For the Oilers, Gaten Haas. There we go, Gaten Haas. I think he was old. Yeah, he was old. It was mine. He's 1992. Uh, so there we go, Gaten Haas. I guess we can put him in front of Jimmy. We'll mix it up a little bit. I won't waste my time with a, a sleeve. If Gaten Haas is worth $20 or something, well, he can stand on that stand, but I'm, for some reason I'm guessing it's like a dollar to two dollars underneath me. Uh, here we go. Derek Steffen, Austin Matthews, Jake Vertanen, 
So is that the same? This might be the Young Guns canvas. No, nope, just regular canvas. Darnell Nurse. There you go. I'll throw him back there with Claude. I thought maybe it was a, a Young Guns canvas. Can you hit Young Guns canvases in this? Yeah, you can hit them. One in every 48 packs. So I should, out of all the tins I got, because I got quite a few of them, I should hit one or two of them. So that's good. Adam Lowry. Here we go. Another young gun. Our young guns are going quick through here. Is that a young gun? No, it's not. I got all confused here. So just a base pack. So I'm going to try to fly through this as much as quickly as possible. But like I said, it's nice to have hockey back. I got them on the TV set up <clears throat> behind me. It's pretty great. Bo Horvat, Chesson, Petchy, Torres, Silverberg, and Morrissey. So, it's crazy. Some teams, I thought maybe Tampa was going to start out 0 2. Didn't happen, but you can always hope. Okay, here's our next Young Gun. Young Gun, here's the cards behind it. Nobody cares because they're base cards. Next Young Gun is a D-Man for Nashville. This is going to be pretty good. Dante Fabro. There we go. Another good name. Dante Fabro. It's a shorter little defenseman. Played out of the BC, was it BCHL or whatever it is. Um... There he is, Dante Fabro. This young little guy is just, he's grow to six feet. I thought he was like, when he came in, I thought he was like 5'9". I thought he was like an undersized. Maybe he just hit like a growth spurt. Um, but I feel like he wasn't six feet. I feel like he was kind of compared to like a Sam Gerrard type of thing first coming in. So there we go. Dante Fabro is our second young gun. So we might, I don't know if we might hit a third young gun in here. So you're gonna hit one in every, essentially every four tins on average. You should hit a, a third young gun per, you know, tin. So we'll have to wait and see. Rasmus Dahlin and a portrait of Max Domi. And a checklist, of course, with Brad and Factor. Nashville is into Seattle. Bad luck for, for Nashville starting off the season. Uh, David Krejci, Bobby Liu, Leon Dreisaitl, just some more base cards. So last pack of this one, and then we'll go into our third tin. So these are in clearance, clearance, and I feel like MJ Holdings just keeps on putting the price of all, up of all their stuff, obviously. I guess they're like, we're going to make some of our money too. Here we go. We got a canvas of Patty Kane. There it is. 900th goal, uh, 900th NHL point, maybe. Does it say on the back what it is? Doesn't say. I'm assuming that's point. Maybe game. So we'll put, uh, put Patty Kane. We'll just put him over here. Not that you don't deserve the spotlight, Patty Kane, but we'll put you off to the side. Sorry. <laughs> um, so these are still like 40 bucks a tin uh, plus tax. So depending on where you are, not cheap. It's like I said, a lot of stuff when it comes to like any kind of cards nowadays. I just find like MJ Holdings is like, hey, all you flippers are trying to make money on all this stuff. We want our money. Because obviously these weren't $40 back in the day. Um, but it's not a terrible price, like I said, to get older product. It's it's pretty decent, like I said. I'm going to pay, you know, a decent amount of money for the rest of the stuff or older product and stuff. And these are kind of almost guaranteed at least two young guns to nail this. So Ryan Paling, Dante Fabro again, and Max Jones. So here we go. See what we can get. We can get another big rookie. So far, it's not bad. It's a Dante Fabro's decent. 
don't know what that actually price is. I haven't like looked at his prices in a while, but um, and then obviously Jack Hughes, that's the, the bigger one. Jack Hughes shot up like super high last year. I remember he was like 140 bucks at one point. You got Boone Jenner. So there we go. Nothing, just a base pack. Uh, now I think I haven't checked in a while. It's probably like an eighty ninety dollar card. So a lot of this stuff I can just make the video break even. I'm happy. I don't need to make a ton of money. Obviously, it's nice to make money <laughs> money on stuff. I'd also have to list some of my cards for the, me to actually make money on anything. I don't list anything because I'm they just sit in a box. Because I'd never change, I guess. Uh, here we go. We got a center for the Kings. Blake Lazotte. So there we go. Blake Lazotte. Still playing out there. Just watching the game. They were playing against um, Vegas. He was out there, I'm pretty sure. So, hey, once again, a couple years passed and you're still, you know, young guns are still playing in the NHL. It's not too bad. There we go. We got a. McDavid, we got a Sid, so we got the, some decent portraits. Once again, if you're going to get portraits and those are the guys you're getting, it's not the end of the world. It's funny because McDavid's like inserts go for like way more than Sid's stuff do. It's like, I don't know, Sid's, Sid's pretty good, Sid's pretty established. Uh, he's going to be one of the top players of all time and it's like Connor, which obviously Connor's great and like Connor puts up these ridiculous points and everything else, but it's like through the first couple seasons, he's not much farther. They're pretty much like neck and neck for the first like however many games um, this far in their, in their career. So it's it's funny, but um, it's just one of those things to see. And obviously, it, McDavid is the what if, right? What can he become? So uh, here we go. We got a canvas of Shea Weber. Here we go. Shea Weber, we'll throw him back there with Nurse. Him and Carey. Apparently the league's not going to come out and, like, come at them for, you know, him going on long-term IR with his thousands of injuries. So, here we go. We got, here's our next young gun, I think. Yep, our next young gun is going to be it's a right winger. For the Senators, Scott Sabern got in a fight the other night with uh, so Blake Lazotte and Scott Sabern, not the two young guns you wanted of a 10, by the way. Uh, he got in a fight the other night with uh, Wayne Simmons. Did not go his way. This is going to be a 20 minute video. Um, how, do I, how do I guess this? They said we can get a third young gun. So we'll just keep on going through here. Braden Holtby. Attic Fox, uh, we got a Shooting Stars, which is kind of funny that you have Shooting Stars and then you have Jordan Biddington on that, so first time we've seen that insert today. Two more packs left. If you guys haven't yet, like and subscribe. Uh, I w I'm going to have another football video coming up for next, um, for the weekend, for Football Sunday. I got some uh, hangers of Donruss too. So if you guys like football openings, make sure you like and subscribe for that. We got Zach Hyman. Scores in his first goal with his new club. Last pack. See if we can get a third one. Third young to kind of save this tin. The Scott Sabin, Blake Lazotte is probably not going to do it. Uh, so this looks like another portraits. It's a rookie portraits. This one's Eric Brandstrom. See what he can finally, he can kind of break out a little bit uh, for the Senators. So um, that's the opening. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Like I said, it's just nice to be back, be able to like talk about hockey, talk about these players, uh, what they're doing, what they're kind of contributing out there. So uh, it's always good to see. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Check us out on YouTube. I know some guys have been asking me lately, like, do you sell your cards? Do you Would you sell this? Would you do this? Just send me a message on Instagram or um, Twitter, whatever you guys want. Um, send me a message, and if you want to talk about it, usually I just go off recent comps. Um, and you guys obviously see most of the recent comps in here. Um, but if you want to go off that, I usually just go off rates of comps. And if you want them, I'm sure we can work out a deal. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. And for Erica from the bench, 
talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.